And you know what time it is. That's right, guys. That's right. It's time for Read Aloud 2. And Read Aloud 2, I have a very special story. You know what it's about? You want to know? It's about pirates. And it says pirates go to school. Oh, my goodness. Pirates are going to school. Did you know pirates go to school? I didn't know pirates go to school. But you know what, guys? Apparently, they do. So, this is a what kind of, what type? What type of what bleh, what part of the book is this guys miss cyril's is having some crazy word day huh this is the front of the book and this is the what this is the back of the book and this is the what that's right guys this is the spine of the book what does the spine of the book do that's right the spine of the book holds the pages together this book is by corinne damas you know what she did she wrote all the words in this story and it's illustrated. The illustrator is the person that drew all these beautiful pictures in the book. And so let's read this story. Pirates go to school. What do you think they're going to do at school? Aye, hi, mateys. Pirates come to school each day with backpacks full of books. They hang their pirate swords up on the coat rack on the hooks. Oh my goodness, the pirates brought swords to school. Oh no, pirates, oh no. We do not bring swords to school, pirates. Pirates bring their parents who echo what they say. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Is how we start each day. Look at the pirates. They say, good morning, teacher. Oh, hey, teacher. <gasps> To sit next to a pirate is everybody's wish, but better hold your nose because they smell like rotting fish. Ew, ew. It said, you got to hold your nose if you sit near a pirate because they smell like fish. Look, they have a fish right there. That's why, guys. It's not nice to tell someone they smell, okay? I just want to stop and tell you that, friends. Pirates learn their letters. X marks the spot. Y, Z. Pirates learn arithmetic. Two skulls plus one. So two plus one is what? Three. That's right, guys. That's right. Two plus one is three. See? One plus two equals, and we answered it, three. Let's see what else pirates do. Pirates like to paint black skies, make cannonballs with clay. Pirates bring homework to their pirate ship each day. Oh, let's see what they're doing. Ooh, look at them. They're, paint, they're painting it black. Look at them. And let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 cannonballs, guys. They made 19 cannonballs. Pirates share at show and tell. They stuff, the stuff they bring is old. They bring a treasure chest, a treasure map. A piece of pirate gold. So they're bringing all the things that they have on their pirate ship. That's just like us. We bring all the things that we have at our house, right? Pirates won't eat peanut butter. They won't touch cheese or carrots. At snack time, they want slimy squid and crackers for their parents. Look, he's eating squid. Guys, we eat the squid too, but we eat it cooked. We don't eat it raw like that, right guys? It's a part of a seafood, guys. That's what it is. Ask your mommies and daddies to show you a picture of squid. Pirates nap at nap time. Since that's what nap time is for, the only trouble is pirates always... What's that? They snore. Look at them. They're sleeping. Guys, they're sleeping on top of each other. Do we sleep on top of each other at school? No, guys. We have our very own mats, right? That's right. Pirates play at walk the plank and other games quite daring. But when then the teacher calls time out because she hears them not saying nice words. <gasps> Look at them. They are playing a very dangerous game. Look, the teacher is way up there. and Look at them way down there. They weigh more, so she's, uh, she's all the way up. But do we stand up on those guys? No, we sit on our bottoms, right, friends? We don't like timeouts. We don't like timeouts. 
pirates and parrots roar. Behave yourselves, the teacher warns, or you'll have five more minutes. Uh Uh-oh. She said, no, I don't want to hear that. You need to be nice or you got five more minutes in timeout. You know what? Because some classes, they might do timeout. You never know or take some time away or have silent lunch. You never know. Let's mutini, let's mutini, pirates and parrots cry. But wait, it's almost story time. So pirates do not try. Look, they're reading a story. She's reading a story to the class. And look how quietly the, the pirates are sitting. Do you think they're doing good in school? I think they're learning, guys. At story time, the pirates beg. At story time, the pirates beg for tales of ships and sea. And at the end, they spin some yarns of pirate treachery. Oh, they have all kinds of dreams about pirates and what they do and how they play. When the school day's over, pirates put everything away. They clean the mess their parrots made. And this is what they say. Are you ready to hear what they say? Yo ho ho, we're so cool. We are pirates and we love our school. Yo ho ho, we're so cool. We are pirates and we love our school. Isn't that cool, guys? So they made a chant. So maybe you can make a chant when you go to school. Look at them. They're getting on the school bus. See, that's how your school bus is going to look without this symbol. You see the school buses? They're lined up and they're going. The end. Look, they have the number three on their paper. So, guys, when you get to kindergarten, you're going to play some games. You're going to read some stories like the pirates did. But are you going to act like the pirates acted? No, you probably won't be doing all of that stuff. You won't be eating squid at school, guys. You're going to eat food like you ate at um, Precious South Academy, okay, guys? You're going to eat some regular food. You're going to have some sandwiches, or some of you might pack your lunch, and that's okay, too. And some schools require you to pack your lunch, or you can order lunch, guys. So I want you guys to enjoy your day. And always know, like Miss Searles always tell you, you are important, you are loved, you are enough and you matter and I love you so very very much we are all different and it's okay we all talk differently we all look differently we all have different kind of skin right we all have different cultures and backgrounds so you know what guys I want you to share your culture with someone else when you go to school tell them about some of the special things that you do with your family all right guys I love you I'll talk to you later and I'll upload music and movement I love you Bye-bye.